A Tampa dad is still fighting for his daughter after an adoption agency took her away just two days after she was born without his knowledge or his consent. Yeah, for, re for years, court records confirm his desire since day one to raise his daughter. Tonight, I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern looks at the battle unwed fathers can face over parental rights, who determines what's best for a child, and the Florida laws that allow this to happen. Okay, this is my daughter's room. This has uh, been her room since she was a newborn baby. Ulysses Carwise prepared a room for his daughter, his little girl, who may never come home. Books I was going to read, spot loves. And the bed unused, closet empty. We end up giving most of the stuff away because she outgrew it. The baby he loved from the day she was born. I'm her father, her real father. Shout out to Lauren who sent this story in. It's absolutely ridiculous what this father is going through here. Apparently his baby girl was given up to another family without his consent and he's been fighting this agency and this couple ever since she was born and now years and years are going by. Five years. We're going to go ahead and get into it but first take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. And if you're watching from Tampa, Florida, St. Pete, Sarasota, definitely let us know below in the comments. Have you heard about this story? Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and get back into it. I'm a father, a real father. I'm not trying to adopt my, uh, I'm a father. Is now five years old. This one right here, let me see this. This one is the baby pictures. In the hospital, the baby tested positive for Her mother, Nikita Adkins, was using drugs, according to documents from the Florida Department of Children and Families. Carwise wanted the baby to come back home with him, but not Adkins. So I went back to Nikki, I said, where the baby at? And she said, well, I'll put the baby up for adoption because I was angry at you, she said. And I said, you did what? So this evil, wicked woman got mad at Mr. Ulysses here because he didn't want her coming home with him and he wanted to take his baby from her after finding out at the hospital through testing that she was doing Coca-Cola while pregnant. She damaged the baby, that's why the baby was in NICU. And then after she caused all of this, her answer was to further destroy the father and the child by ripping the baby away from him and putting her up for adoption without his consent. Carwise told DCF he wanted his daughter but the 35-year Hillsborough County School Board employee needed to prove he was the father because he and Adkins weren't married. When the test came back, they said it was 9.5, 99, something like that. The baby was mine. I said, okay, well, it's over then. Thinking that's it. That's it. It wasn't. The fight for his daughter is still going on. Just give me my child. I've been saying that the whole time I've been going to court. Give me my child. I don't need y'all help. When a Tampa man tells you he went to cult, he's not playing. He's been serious about this since day one. He said, I don't need y'all help. You wanted me to prove this was my baby. I took the paternity test. She's mine. Now give me my baby. You can't adopt a child unless the mother and the father didn't want them or wasn't capable of raising them. In this case, the mother is unfit. So once he proved that he was the father and he wanted his child, the case should have been over. Give him his baby. Give me my child. And they won't listen. The adoption agency, Bethany Christian Services, and prospective adoptive parents, referred to only as Katrina and William Doe in court records, took Carwise to court in Orange County to terminate his parental rights, arguing that he had abandoned his daughter because he did not financially support her while she was not in his custody. After the trial, it took the court nearly a year to rule. His rights were not terminated. But Carwise's daughter stayed with Katrina and William while they filed an appeal. As months turned into years, his little girl grew more attached to the only family and home she knew. And now she thinks they are her parents. The couple that wants to adopt her call her by a different name. He wishes she could call him dad. All she knows is I'm Mr. Ulysses and I say her nice stuff. That's it. They totally ripped this little girl's identity away from her. They're calling her another name that's not her birth name, and her daddy to her is Mr. Ulysses. This is 100% out of order. Bethany's so-called Christian services in Central Florida, Tampa, 
You all are out of order and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Basically kidnapping this baby so the state can pay them agency fees every month for having this child placed with this family and y'all won't give her back. And yes, Bethany's so-called Christian services is getting a check every single month from the state of Florida for this child. So if anybody's wondering what the motive is here, it's like they're collecting child support every single month for this little girl. This system is disgusting and they are misusing it. Bethany's so-called Christian services. Initially, Carwise had in-person visits every week at an Orlando mall. Okay, this one here is doing Easter. Those in-person visits stopped at the start of the pandemic. For the past three years, he has not touched his daughter, seeing her once a week on a Zoom screen. The adoption agency, Bethany Christian, told us, for the confidentiality and privacy of our clients and families, it is not able to speak about this ongoing case. That's my family. That is my child. They're not saving no child. They, they are harming a child. The prospective adoptive parents filed a new lawsuit in Hillsborough County. It's, it's all over again. And it's... Another petition to terminate his parental rights. It, it, it's just getting difficult, okay? It's getting real hard. Carwise, overwhelmed with emotion. That's the first time that hit me hard. Because I've been like fighting these people, fighting these people. And I appreciate the supporter and the news for getting this out there. But when the man was trying to get up and remove himself from the room, why didn't y'all take the mic off of him so he can have some time to himself? That's the first time that hit me hard. Because I've been like fighting these people, fighting these people. May it please the court, I'm Jeannie Tate. Jeannie Tate, a longtime adoption attorney based in Tampa, is representing the prospective adoptive parents. She opened a private adoption agency in 2001, Heart of Adoptions. This is Kylie McGivern. I'm a reporter with ABC Action News. We contacted Tate by phone and email, and she responded in a voicemail and email that although she would like to comment, Florida law prevents her from commenting on the matter or confirming her involvement. So Jeannie Tate, she's another one here. This is all just so evil. It's a business for these people. One of his younger sisters, Rosalind Green, has stood beside her brother as he fights for his daughter. It's a huge eye-opening that the law would allow these people to literally, legally take someone else's child. Carwise plans to live in Green's house when he gets custody of his daughter. He has the support that he needs to take care of this child including the support of his 26-year-old daughter, who he raised as a single father. What gives you all hope to continue moving forward? I want my niece to know that we didn't give her up and that we're here to fight for her. I couldn't believe, you know, that he, he's still fighting. The fact that it's gone on this long and something hasn't been done to give him his child is just, I think, a travesty. David Velez is Carwise's former court-appointed attorney from the original case in Orange County. And they were doing everything imaginable to just keep him from getting his job, which they continue parents to do today. They would say, well, he doesn't really have a relationship. Well, you're not giving him the opportunity to build a relationship with the child. And it's not for a lack of him trying. Something has to be done because it's, it's been an injustice what's been done to him. Well, everybody should care about it because it, it, it can happen to anybody. Online now, we've included more information about the putative father registry in this story for unmarried birth fathers. That's at abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, with photojournalist Randy Wright, I'm I team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you. This is just wrong. The baby was born in Tampa, but it sounds like the adoption agency, Bethany's so-called Christian Services in Central Florida, gave the baby to a family in Orlando. The father was driving an hour and a half or so to see his daughter and then an hour and a half back before the pandemic. Since the pandemic, they had Zoom calls once a week, having to listen to his daughter call him Mr. Ulysses. He raised his older daughter alone. She's 26 years old now. This is also probably why he was already prepared to bring the baby home. He's got a room and everything set up for a child. Now, he definitely chose the wrong woman to have this baby with, but he was there and ready to take responsibility for his daughter from day one at the hospital. 
and they just ripped the baby away from him with the help of the wicked baby mama. I think this is just horrible and I want to see this man get his daughter because he didn't give them consent to take her away in the first place. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Obviously, this is taking a toll on Mr. Ulysses and his family. Thank God for his sister too. She's willing to help. But what do you think he should do next? Special thank you to Charles B. I appreciate you, Charles, for all of your support, as well as Christopher B., Dark Power, Anthony, and I can't forget about Lori. I appreciate you, Lori, for always showing your support for the channel. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.